What's going on smart people? It is the day after my classical mechanics midterm and that means that I can finally get started on all of this homework that's been piling up that is also due next week. So today I thought I'd talk about what it's all covering, what this new batch of homework sort of looks like without getting into the specific problems themselves. Now you might be wondering how the exam went. I thought it was super challenging but fair, but we'll see how everything turns out. But let's go ahead and get into what the homework itself is actually covering. The first one that I'm going to go over is the one for classical mechanics which is due on Thursday. Classical mechanics were getting into rigid body motion, more specifically rigid body rotational motion. So things like moment of inertia. This homework isn't specifically going to cover the inertia tensor. That's probably going to be on the next homework. This one is more so the linear algebra, things like rotation matrices. So it's, it's really trying to motivate it. So I don't think this one will be all that difficult to solve. If maybe you have an online copy of the Goldstein Classical Mechanics book, it's a lot of the derivations in chapter four, which are a lot of linear algebra proof. And I think that linear algebra is probably my strongest math, so I don't think that this is going to be all that challenging. Famous last words, if it does end up being super hard, at least this is the one that's due on Thursday. Next class. The next two classes, quantum mechanics and math methods, have homework due this Monday. And in math methods, we just finished deriving the spherical harmonics, which are clearly an important set of functions. They're eigenfunctions to L squared and LZ. And they're written in terms of the associated Legendre functions. And that's pretty much what all of this homework is on. It's proving certain identities using Legendre polynomials as well as applying them to physics. For example, in one problem, we are given some boundary conditions and then asked to find the electrostatic potential in terms of the Legendre polynomials. Then we are to obtain the differential equation for the radial bit and solve it in terms of a Taylor series and calculate those coefficients. Pretty simple. Last but not least, we have quantum mechanics. This quantum assignment is twice the length of our normal ones. Our normal homework assignments are about three problems. This is six problems, multiple parts, but this is the first time that it's not entirely just pretty much a math homework set. This is actual physics. So in a lot of these questions were given states and asked questions relating to if you make a measurement on the state and then make a subsequent measurement, what is the probability that you will measure such and such quantities? Now the first problem is more of a math problem in that it doesn't really tell you what the physical quantities you're measuring are. It just gives you an operator, some eigenstates, a different operator, some different eigenstates, the relationship between those states, and then talking about probability of certain measurements. The second one is more specific, more physical, in that it specifically states that it has to do with spin and measuring spin in certain directions. Now, problems four through six would usually be a separate homework assignment altogether, but we haven't had quantum in two weeks, so all of these two homework assignments were lumped into one, and that's what's all due on Monday. That's why this is longer than usual, but the, the second half of this homework is pretty different. It's just solving the Schrodinger equation for different potentials. So, for example, one of them is solving the Schrodinger equation for a delta function potential, and then solving it again in momentum space. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Schrodinger equation is a second order partial differential equation whose solution depends entirely on the potential and the boundary conditions. So you change the potential, you change the entire problem. And that's about it for the homework. Classical mechanics is basically all just a linear algebra problem set with one problem on like the Coriolis effect. Mathematical methods is all on Legendre polynomials and associated Legendre functions, applying it to electrostatics. And quantum mechanics is all on probabilities of making certain measurements and solving the Schrodinger equation. The more I look at these assignments, the more it seems like math methods is gonna be the most difficult out of the three. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, and I'll see you tomorrow.